This sofa bed hack can get you from sofa to sleep in less than 60 seconds, including bedding. Hi, my name's Greg and I'm here today to show off my gorgeous new sofa bed. It's lovely. Uh, in my medium wheel based Renault Master camper van. Um, this is the third designer bed I've had. I've had the van about six years. Uh, the first two designs, you would have seen those on YouTube. It's the flippy out type or the slidey out slot type. Um, if you're at the stage where you're planning to design and you're not sure whether to go for the convenience of a fixed bed or the space saving of a dual use sofa bed, have a look at this design. It might give you uh, a, an opinion one way or the other because as all van builders will know, it's all about compromise. For the money shot, we need a stopwatch. There you go, sofa to sleep in less than 60 seconds, smashed it. Except for night. Okay, so let's get one red herring out of the way then. You'd have seen me pull out the frame. Uh, that's a different sort of frame. It's a space frame I made just to create a little bit of extra uh, space and take a little bit of weight out of it. But the traditional woody slatty sort will work. The secret really is in the cushions and the bedding. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so the cushion you're seeing there that you sit on, actually that's two cushions, one on top of the other, joined together with a flap. And basically that flap changes its length as you deploy it into the sleep position. So you saw the bedding was trapped between the uh, top and the bottom cushion. So that flap has to span that gap. But when you deploy it, that flap scrunches up and goes into between the two cushions that get pushed together. And hopefully I can show you that now. Okay, so this is a screen grab of me deploying it into sleep position. So you can see there the bottom sheet curls over the edge of the top cushion and it's Velcroed on there and it's Velcroed on the back. So effectively, as you deploy it, the, the gap makes the sheet go tight, and as you deploy it more, the sheet then pulls the two cushions together, closing the gap. And the spare bit of the flap just scrunches up between the two. So now I'll give you a picture of the diagram I sent to the sewing studio, who made the cushions for me, and it might uh, make it a bit clearer. So that's the diagram. You can see you've got your base cushion, the top cushion, and the words are upside down because it's got a spin over. Uh, and you can see the schematic of the bedding trap between the two. And on the right hand side, you can see the flap that uh, is Velcroed on from the top cushion down onto the base cushion. Uh, it stays like that until I only take the Velcro off and break them up if I have to store them. And then uh, the Zs are actually just zips uh, to get the foam in and out. And you can probably just see on the top cushion and the back cushion, there's a, a black blob that represents a line of Velcro. And it's so that the top cushion can sort of, sort of anchor onto the back cushion because you've got all the bedding in between. It's a little bit scrunchy and it gives it a, a clearer line. So let's look at it opened up. So there it is, base cushion on the left, top cushion on the right. And because you had bedding trapped in between, you had to have the flap to create a space for that bedding. Now when you've opened it up, you've got the two cushions separated apart. So what you would do is you push those two together and then you fit your uh, base sheet with Velcro on each side, which when it's folded up is loose, but as you deploy it, it gets tighter and tighter and draws those two cushions together, which gives you the tight close. So there you go, uh, so prepared to sleep in less than a minute. In fact, I've done it just over 30 seconds, didn't I? Um, hope it's of use for those who are planning your bed. Mm -hmm.